we just don't sit back and wait for people to come to us. We got to go to them and go to the places where young people gather. And one of those places is a bar. It's a coffee shop. It's a place where young people gather. And we've got to go there, not just to drink, but to meet and to talk and to share. And I think this idea really took off from Chicago. And I'm really happy to be part of it here in Chicago for this inaugural moment of Theology on Tap, because it's a perfect example of where we meet people. We go and meet them where they're at. You take over a huge bar like this wonderful place in the middle of downtown Chicago, gather people together, the church offers food and drink, and you invite speakers to come in. And it's been a real great privilege for me to be here. I've had the privilege of working with Pope Francis and doing some things with him. And so this is an opportunity to talk about the big questions of young people and how those questions are finding flesh and blood in the life of this Pope and in the life of the church. It's also an opportunity for young people to ask us whatever they wish. And if we know the answers, we know them, we share them. If we don't, we can say, I'll get back to you on it. But it's, it's a dialogue. It's not me giving a talk as much as it is a chance for them to meet us and for us to meet them. Whenever you meet somebody who's authentic, you can't help but say, this guy is cool. This girl is cool. This person is serious. Pope Francis has appealed to many, many people, to old people, to young people. This is an old man with a little bit of hair, you know, but it's nothing to do with age. Francis walks his talk. He walks the walk. And what he's done is to meet people where they are. And I think the reason why the world has turned on to him is he's real. There's nothing put on. What you see is what you get. People often say to me, what's it like when you're with him and everything else? And I say, well, you know, you kind of have this insatiable urge to hug him. But before you do that, he does it to you. He meets people and he's simply true. When people meet such authenticity, it really goes deep and you say, I want to be with that person, I want to meet that person. I think that's a great part of it. He's also spoken to some of the big issues of our time, especially his whole interest through Laudato Si and the care for creation has been a very positive thing because that's something that young people are interested in. What kind of future are we going to leave, you know, what kind of world are we going to leave for young people, for our children? That's a legitimate question.